hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to use miss kit premiere pro templates okay so you can use this to create something like this so i'm going to walk you through how to use miss kit premiere pro templates so when you go to this website which i'm going to leave the link in the description you can download any template and then edit it and use for your own work so we have several stop footage music and then sound effect and video templates on this particular website which you can use for free so if you go to the licensing under the stop video free licensing if you click on this it's actually devious you realize that you can use this video on youtube social media educational purposes music and you can see for commercial projects so you have no issue with this you have no issue with copyright so when you go here depending on which video editing software you are using you have to select that from here in my case i'm using adobe premiere pro so just select that and then it's going to give you a lot of uh, templates under that so you can see we have openness transition title logo lower text effects so you can see several of these to download so all you have to do is when you go through the list and you see what you have to do if you come down here you can see we have some premium one but there's enough free for you to use just click on download based on what you want to do if it's for youtube just select that just click on download template okay so i've already done the download so just go ahead and then extract this file so mostly we are going to see this in the zip file just so make sure you extract this file So after extracting this file, just open the folder and click on Then go ahead and open the Premiere Pro file It's going to open this in Adobe Premiere Pro for you Just go ahead and click on OK If you don't have some of the fonts available, just make sure you close that now don't be confused about what you see after you open this i'm going to guide you through everything step by step you can use this to create trailers for your youtube channel and also create other templates for openness for and you can use this to create other openness for your program now this is a files we are going to edit and i'm just going to switch the view here so we're going to have three files mostly you're going to have the final and then we are going to have asset and then the file we'll be dealing with is going to be the edit so that's the only file you'll be working with so let's just open that and right here we're going to have the short and the title so this is where we're going to change our files now so first i would like to edit the shorts and before that i'm actually going to show you we need to include our videos the videos and the pictures we want to use we have to bring them here and i've already downloaded some so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open those files and bring them here so i have this these are some images i downloaded online and i'm going to leave the link to those sites so you need both videos and then images so i'm going to drop down here i'm going to drag them to premiere pro so you can see i move all these files here to target the title and then the short so i'm just going to open the short first now after we are done opening this what we're going to do is that this is the first page so just these are the placeholders just double click on that and it's going to open this on the timeline for you so this is where we're going to start replacing the placeholders over here with our image or video so remember so so you realize that i brought images and videos over here so over here if i want to place video over here all i have to do is to go ahead and uh, drag that on top of this so i'm just going to drag this here so i'm going to drag this here and then just make sure it's in line with the placeholder okay so we're going to repeat the process for all so you can see i have this here most likely you have the video depending on where you download it from be bigger than the screen so you can just double click and then resize this so when you're done just move back to the short again so you can see we've changed the first one just double click on the next one and go back and then pick any of this if you want to use video just select that i'm going to use a picture over here so select this and then i can drag it to cover the placeholder you can actually delete the placeholder completely but in my case i don't want to delete it so just place it on it if it's bigger than your screen size just resize so i'm going to repeat the process for all Okay, so as you can see this process is going to run through so i'm just going to 
fast forward this video and then repeat it for all if it's video is if it's if it's video you do that then we'll come back to the text how we can modify the text as well so i'm just going to fast forward this video it's editing the placeholders for the image and the video the next thing you need to do is to go to the title so open this folder and you can see this is going to be the title for your video okay so just click on the same thing just use the same procedure you can click on the first one and you can start changing the title so double click on the text here and then you can start typing so let me just call it beauty Okay, so I'm going to repeat the process for all. So the same process we use for that, we're going to use it for this as well. So basically, this is what you do. Just select each and every text and then whichever text you want to place or use to replace, they just go ahead and then do that. Once you are done everything, this is what you do now we'll go to the main slideshow okay this is going to be our main slideshow here it's actually going to modify everything for us we'll come back here now i just want to add some video to this so what i'll do is that i'm just going to import some video so i got this music also from miss kit so just drop the music here and that is the music i'm just going to place it beneath my videos beneath my video I'm going to resize this to fit the length of everything here okay so now we can just play this and see how it's going to look you are comfortable with this just go to file original image and video and text you have over here the typing and i did the typing that i did everything is going to show within this and you can preview this and then play this after you are comfortable with everything all you have to do is go to file go to export go to media and i want to export this entire video so i'm just going to click on this and then you can select the size that you prefer okay so i just want to go with my sequence size so i can say match to adapted source whatever you want to do just select that setting from here i want to just change it to something like high quality 480p so that's what i'm going to do and i want to change the name here so select the output name so you can give it a name of your choice let me just call it new slideshow and save this and i'm going to click on export time to export this and then i'll be back after this video is done exporting it's about 99 percent and this will be done pretty soon now our video is done let's try and then play this and see how it's going to look like slideshow so i'm just going to open it and see how it's going to look like So as you can see, this is how the video is going to look like. I've been about able to download this from Mix Kits and then edited it and then you can see this is the final way. So you can use this to create uh, trailers for your YouTube channel and other upcoming events. You can use this same method to be able to create your own video. Like subscribe for more videos like this, more entertaining content as well.
So like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notification. Till I come your way again. Bye bye.